Hi, Rera. Real Estate Regulation and Development Act 2016, which has been notified on 1st of May 2017. We are making this series of video on RERA, which will cover entire act of RERA. It could be of around 15 to 20 videos. And in this today, we are talking about adjudication mechanism under the RERA. My name is Girish Rao. I am advocate and solicitor. I have more than 27 years of experience and I have also registered more than 100 projects. This video is brought to you by Legal Scholar Academy. Legal Scholar Academy conduct various courses in law like Master in Drafting of Agreement, Master in Drafting of Pleading, Master in RERA and many other courses. If you want to know more about it, you can connect on the number and email which is given here below. And Legal Scholar Academy also conduct free webinars on different topics on every Friday. If you want to attend this free webinar, you can connect with Legal Scholar Academy on the number which is scrolling down here. So now, today's topic, that is adjudication mechanism under the RERA. But before I start with this topic, it's my request to every one of you to kindly subscribe to the channel. We regularly upload videos on different topics of law, which are very informative and you will get a lot of knowledge from that. So it's request to everyone to subscribe to the channel. And if you like this video, to, don't forget to hit the like button. And I'm sure you are going to like this and you are going to put like button to this. So with this, let's start with our today's topic of adjudication mechanism under the RERA. When we are talking about adjudication mechanism, under the RERA, there are three tire grievance system or grievance mechanism for readdressal of your grievance. Number one is real estate authority. So first point of mechanism is real estate authority or adjudicating officer also under section 31 of the RERA. Then second is real estate appellate tribunal under section 44. And third is high court where second appeal can be filed. We'll go each in detail. Before that, what are the kind of dispute that can arise when we are talking about real estate projects? The dispute could be between promoter and allottee. See, promoter means the builder or the developer and allottee means flat purchaser, basically. And is then the third is real estate agent. Number one dispute is not giving the possession of the flat on the date which is agreed between promoter and allottee. Then payment of interest if there is a delay in giving the possession. Or in case he withdraws from the project, the promo, uh, the allottee or the flat purchaser, then again payment of interest and refund of money. Then there could be a dispute about the quality of the flat. Then further non-registration of the society of the allottee. This also could be one of the dispute. Then not giving the fixtures and fitting which is agreed between them as per the agreement. Then again, non giving the amenities which is promised by the promoter at the time of agreement and also registered in the on the project registration and also in the agreement. Non conveying the property as as per the agreement. In this case, also the end of Maharashtra, there is other provision also which is under MOFA for going for deemed conveyance. We'll come to that later on each and everything. Then Claim also could be by promoter for delay in payment or there could be also termination of agreement for not paying the amount. Even that dispute will have to come before RERA. Then as for non-payment of that, termination of the agreement. Then even before the RERA, a complaint can be by the 
real estate agent also against the promoter or also it could be against the flat purchaser also for not paying the the brokerage and also a flat purchaser also can file a complaints against the agent because of for misrepresentation that also can come before the rera then if there is a change of plan without consent for that also it can come the complaint can be come before real estate authority these are just an illustration the kind of dispute or a complaint a flat purchaser can have there could be many others also so basically is that for all dispute between the flat purchaser and the real estate and the developer it's a real estate authority who has to address the grievance so now let's understand the provisions under the law under the rera for that purpose for that purpose section 31 comes into the picture of the rera any person aggrieved that is any person if any person will also include promoter it could be a real estate agent it could be a flat purchaser can file a complaint with real estate authority or adjudication officer as the case may be for violation or contravention of any provision of the act rules or regulation so that also includes any breach of terms and condition of the agreement so depending upon whatever grievance is you will have to either file a complaint before real estate authority or you will have to file a complaint before the adjudicating of officer but as per the practice which is there the complaint has to be filed online so there is no separate provision whether it is before authority or adjudicating officer i am talking this in maharashtra because i am from bombay so there is no separate that if i want to go before adjudicating officer i have to file a complaint under this way and if it is before the the authority it is different way so there is no there is only one provision to file a complaint before the authority that is online complaint then so the first complaint or first step of for grievance address redressal is before the real estate authority i am just talking taking it as a real estate authority so real estate authority once he receives a complaint after giving an opportunity to the other party so if say flat purchaser opportunity to the promoter i would say promoter then giving an opportunity to the flat purchaser will decide the dispute between them so once you decide the dispute if you are satisfied then okay if not satisfied then promoter or the flat purchaser can prefer an appeal so appeal can be preferred under section 44 of the rera appeal can be preferred on any order direction or decision of adjudicating authority sorry adjudicating authority also a uh, officer or also the real estate authority the appeal can be preferred to the appellate tribunal appeal has to be preferred within a period of 60 days from the dis communication of the order that means the day you come to know about the order from that date within 60 days you have to prefer an appeal and if appeal is from the customer no amount will be have to be deposited but if appeal is by the promoter in that case as per the rera 30% of the amount has to be deposited and but in practice promoter has to deposit 100% of the amount which is directed or ordered by the real estate authority so appeal has to be filed within a period of 60 days but for any reason if someone is not able to file the complaint or the appeal within the 60 days under the provision the tribunal can condone that delay if sufficient cause is shown why appeal could not be filed within that period of 60 days then tribunal has got authority to condone the delay and hear the appeal this being a first appeal 
द अपील विल बी हर्ड ऑन द फैक्ट एंड ऑल्सो ऑन द लॉ लाइक एन ओरिजिनल प्रोसीडिंग आफ्टर हियरिंग ऑल द पार्टीज द अपील विल बी डिसाइडेड एंड ट्राइब्यूनल विल गिव इट्स डिसीशन सो इफ यू आर सैटिस्फाइड विद द डिसीशन ऑल पार्टीज आर सैटिस्फाइड द थिंग्स कम्स टू एन एंड एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम बट इफ यू आर नॉट सैटिस्फाइड देन पार्टी कैन प्रिफर एन अपील बिफोर द हाई कोर्ट बट वेन वी आर टॉकिंग एट हाई कोर्ट इट इज ए सेकेंड अपील एंड वेन इट कम्स टू सेकेंड अपील देर इज लिमिटेशन इन दैट that second appeal can be decided only on question of law so it's not a question of fact the when the question of law is the limited question which will be decided so what is a question of law for that there are series of judgments of the high court and supreme court to know what is a question of law so on basis of that when you are preferring an appeal you will have to make out a question of law and that question of law high court will have to decide if you don't make out a question of law appeal will not be admitted further appeal has to be filed within 60 days again there is a provision for condonation of delay if sufficient cause is made out then delay can be condoned that is a final process as per the rera is concerned yes if you are not satisfied with that you can file an slp in the supreme court and supreme court may decide it but if we are under the rera only these are three tier mechanism for addressal of grievance so this is brief or the grievance readdressal system under the rera as i stated first is real estate authority then appellate tribunal and then high court this was brief submission or the presentation on that i hope you like this video if you like kindly press the like button and again i am requesting every one of you to subscribe to this channel we are coming with a series of video under the rera so with this i'm taking your leave i hope you like this channel and if you want more detail about other topics you can also connect with us bye bye take care bye i'm taking your leave